Hello and welcome to our channel. Today, we are going to talk about how to safely photograph a solar eclipse with a phone. A solar eclipse is a rare and spectacular event, and many people like to capture this moment by taking pictures. However, it is important to keep in mind that looking directly at the sun during an eclipse can cause permanent eye damage. In this video, we will give you some tips on how to safely photograph a solar eclipse using your phone. The first tip is to use proper equipment. You should use a solar filter to protect your eyes and your phone's camera lens from the sun's harmful rays. You can buy a solar filter online or at your local camera store. Make sure the filter fits your phone's camera lens and covers the entire lens. Do not use sunglasses, binoculars, or any other household items to view the eclipse. These objects do not provide adequate protection for your eyes or your camera lens. The second tip is to find the right location. You want to be in a place with a clear view of the sun and the horizon. Avoid tall buildings, trees, or other obstacles that might block your view. You also want to avoid areas with a lot of light pollution, such as cities or busy streets. A good location is a high point, such as a hill or a rooftop where you can have an unobstructed view of the sky. The third tip is to use a tripod. A tripod will help stabilize your phone and prevent shaky images. You can buy a small tripod online or at your local camera store. Make sure it is compatible with your phone and that it can hold it securely. A stable platform is especially important if you plan to take multiple pictures during the eclipse. The fourth tip is to set the right exposure. Your phone's camera will automatically adjust the exposure for the bright sun, but it may not always get it right. You can manually adjust the exposure by tapping on the screen where the sun is located. This will bring up a slider that you can use to adjust the brightness. You want to make sure the sun is not overexposed or underexposed. If the sun is too bright, your picture will be washed out. If it is too dark, you won't be able to see the details. The fifth tip is to use the right settings. You should turn off the flash and the HDR mode. The flash will not help you in this situation, and the HDR mode may not work well with the bright sun. You should also use the highest resolution available on your phone. This will give you the best quality image possible. The sixth tip is to take multiple shots. You should take several pictures during the eclipse, so you have a better chance of getting a good shot. You can use burst mode to take multiple pictures in quick succession. You can also try different angles and settings to get different types of images. Don't forget to review your pictures as you go along to make sure you are getting the results you want. The seventh and final tip is to be patient and enjoy the moment. A solar eclipse is a rare and beautiful event, and you don't want to miss it by focusing too much on taking pictures. Take some time to appreciate the beauty of the eclipse with your own eyes. Remember, safety comes first. If at any point you feel uncomfortable or unsure, stop taking pictures and just enjoy the moment. 